Hi guys, in this tutorial we are going to talk about Facebook's most popular JavaScript framework called React.js which was originally created by Facebook and now extensively used both in Facebook and Instagram. It is mainly used to create flexible web applications. We'll open Google and download some of the React libraries which are present in their official site. As you can see, this is the Facebook's React official website where we can get all the required libraries. You can download this starter kit and get all the required libraries. I already downloaded these libraries and kept it in a folder. Uh, now let me copy all these files in our workspace. Uh, we'll create a folder named JS and inside that we'll keep all these required JavaScript files. Now we are going to create a one sample HTML file. For this way, I will use Sublime Text Editor. Let me name this as index.html in our workspace directory. Now let us create a sample HTML file. In this, I am using an emit. Uh, plugin for sublime text editor where we can easily use uh, html code i will leave a link in the description notes as you can see i am putting all the html tags and simple tab will create all these tags and let me call this uh, title as react first app let me write one body tag inside here. And let us uh, import all the required JavaScript core library files, such as uh, one will be React.js script slash equal to dot slash js slash react.js. Let me close this tag. We'll copy this tag two times. We basically we need to import all the three core JavaScript files. React.js and React-DOM.js and another last one is browser.js. This is used just to write JSX scripts. Let us write some sample Babel script. For this, we will use a script tag uh, which says text slash Babel script. So it will assume that it is a Babel script and it will run that. In this Babel script, we can use all ES six features such as using class tags and all so basically we will create one div tag here with an id as my id and inside the babel script we can write a basic uh, fp react for such as react dot and what this will do is render will have two arguments which is one will be the uh, what we want to display that is HTML uh, core code and another one is the div. This render function will take care of injecting the HTML code into the div. So let me open refresh this Chrome browser and inspect it whether our script has been uh, executed or not. Let me refresh this once again. Yeah, you can see how our Babel script is there. We pass two arguments to the end of function. In the first argument, we will create one heading tag h1, saying that my first app. In the second argument, we will pass the ID, my ID, which was written above. So we write document dot element by id we have to basically pass the second argument as the id object uh, let, let us see the chrome uh, we have a one uh, issue here i think uh, javascript is not loaded let us check the javascript browser.js let me expand this js folder it is 
browser.min.js okay let us correct this browser.min.js and refresh it I think it's executed but one more issue is there yeah react.render yeah I think this yeah this is not react this is react doms because we are manipulating the dom element let us save and refresh yeah now you can see the text has been popped up in this html my first app what this script is doing is uh, it's uh, taking the html code the first document uh, and injecting it into the h1 if uh, my id thanks guys for watching we will learn more in the next tutorial if you have any questions uh, please comment in the comment section i will try to answer thanks again for watching this tutorial i hope this helps you